Christmas comes each year to draw people in from the cold, like tiny frightened sparrows. Shivering in the winter cold, many live their lives on barren branches of heartbreak, disappointment, and loneliness, lost in thoughts of shame, self-pity, guilt, or failure. One blustery day follows another, and the only company they keep is with fellow strugglers who land on the same branches confused and unprotected. We try so hard to attract them to the warmth. Week after week, church bells ring, singers sing, preachers preach. Lighted churches send out their beacon through YouTube or Facebook. But nothing seems to bring in those who need warmth the most. For this is a year of distance. Then as the year draws to a close, Christmas offers its wonderful message. Emmanuel, God with us. He who resided in heaven, co-equal and co-eternal with the Father and the Spirit, willingly descended into our world. He breathed our air felt our pain, knew our sorrows, and died for our sins. He didn't come to frighten us, but to show us the way to warmth and safety. Welcome to this longest night service. The name of the service comes from the season December brings the longest night of the year, December 21st. But the name longest night also describes the feeling that a number of us have during this season in the long, dark winter nights. Memories of past experiences and the pain of these present experiences and situations can become overwhelming. For some, Christmas Day will be the most difficult. For others, Christmas Eve or New Year's Eve are the beginning of another lonely year. In this service, we invite you to listen. We invite you to pray. We invite you to sing. We invite you to meditate upon the pain and anguish you may bring. And we invite you to offer your pain to the Christ child. And we trust that you will find hope and comfort in knowing that you are not alone. Will you join with me in the responsive call to worship? The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light on those who lived in a land of deep shadow. A light has shone. For the yoke that was weighing upon them and the burden upon their shoulders, God has broken in pieces. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, full of grace and truth, and we have seen his glory. In him was life, and that life was the light of all. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has never, never been able to put it out. Christmas.
Let us pray. God of comfort, we come to you in this Christmas season with the pain growing inside us. As the nights have been growing longer, so has the darkness wrapped itself around our hearts. In this season of our longest nights, we offer to you the pain in our hearts the traumas that some of us cannot even put into words. God of mercy, we come to you as those who have been abused. We have been hurt physically, emotionally, as children, as teenagers, as adults. We have had the trust we gave others violated. We have no confidence in ourselves we cringe away from any threat. God, we are the outsiders. We are the ones who seem to stand on the edges of any group. We find ourselves always looking in over someone else's shoulders. And when we try to move to the center, we feel as if we are getting elbowed out of the way. God of compassion, we are grieving over what might have been. A death or a loss has changed this day. Once it was a special day for us too, but someone has died. 
Someone has left us. Someone has moved away. We've lost a job. We've lost a dream, a goal, a cause. We find ourselves adrift, alone, lost in a terrifying new world. This season reminds us of all that used to be and cannot be anymore. God of love, we are the victims. From this temporary period of peace, we will go back to situations where we are beaten, exploited, humiliated. We would escape if we could, but to what? We are as afraid of the future as of the present. The memories of what was, the fear of what may be, stifle us. All around us, we hear the sounds of celebration, the jingle of cash registers and the rustle of wrapping paper. But some of us have nothing we can give, and some of us have no one to give anything to. This is our longest night. Please be near us tonight. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus was well aware of people's sorrows, yearnings, and suffering, and offered a promise of something different. This reading is from Luke chapter 6. He went down with them and stood on a level place. A large crowd of his disciples were there, and a great number of people from all over Judea, from Jerusalem and from the coastal region around Tyre and Sidon, who had come to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. Those troubled by impure spirits were cured, and all the people tried to touch him because power was coming from him and healing them all. Looking at his disciples, he said, Blessed are you who are poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you who hunger now, for you will be satisfied. Blessed are you who weep now, for you will laugh. We light this first candle in memory of those persons we have lost through death. We remember them by name in our hearts. We give thanks for them and for their lives. We treasure these memories in this difficult season. Lord Jesus, like this candle, bring some warmth and light to those who mourn, who hunger and thirst, and who weep. A candle is burning, a flame warm and bright. A candle of hope in December's dark night. While angels sing blessings from heaven's starry sky. Our hearts we prepare now for Jesus is nigh. Even Jesus knew the feeling of being abandoned by God. The God whom he believed in and of being left alone in his darkness. This reading is from a psalm. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from saving me, so far from my cries of anguish? My God, I cry out by day, but you do not answer. By night, but I find no rest. 
Yet you are enthroned as the Holy One. You are the one Israel praises. In you, our ancestors put their trust. They trusted and you delivered them. To you, they cried out and were saved. In you, they trusted and were not put to shame. We light this second candle to ask for deliverance from the pain of loss. All the losses we face that bring sadness and darkness to this time of year. The loss of relationships. The loss of health. The loss of jobs. The loss of financial security. We ask that God bring us comfort. We realize that the pain of loss can be heightened at this time of year. And we ask for peace and renewal. Spirit of God, shine like this candle in the darkness, lighting the way for all who feel abandoned, forsaken, and and forgotten. forgotten. Amen. A candle is burning, a candle of peace, a candle to signal that conflict may cease. For Jesus is coming to show us the way. A message of peace humbly laid in the hay. When burdens get piled on top of other burdens, the load can crush us. In his promise, Jesus offers to help us to carry our burdens and responsibilities. This reading is from Matthew. Come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. We light this third candle for each of us. We offer up to God our past, the times of regret and sorrow, the times of mourning, the difficult memories, the times of grief and sadness and of loneliness and pain. We ask that God take away the darkness. The people who sat in darkness have seen a great light. And for those who sat in the region and shadow of death, light has dawned. Friend Jesus, Jesus, we we don't don't ask ask you to shoulder our our burdens burdens for us. us. Just Just help help us carry a corner of them and and we we can can carry carry on. on. Amen. Amen. A candle is burning, a candle of joy, a candle to welcome brave Mary's new boy. Our hearts fill with wonder and eyes light and glow as joy brightens winter like sunshine on snow. Our present world is not how God wants things to be. Those who weep now will not weep later. In this new heaven and new earth, there will be no more need for tears. This reading is from Revelation. 
Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride, beautifully dressed for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Look, God's dwelling place is now among the people, and he will dwell with them. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them and be their God. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain for the old order of things has passed away. We light this fourth candle as a symbol of hope and promise. We invite and celebrate the coming of the one who promises us no more suffering the one who promises us light. Jesus spoke to them saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Lord God, your vision seems a long way in the future. Bring Bring your your promise promise closer closer to to us, us, we pray. pray. Amen. A candle is burning, a candle of love, a candle to point us to heaven above, a baby for Christmas, a wonderful birth for Jesus is bringing God's love to our earth. From a distance, we dazzle. Up close, we're tarnished. Put enough of us together and we may resemble an impressive mountain range. When we get down to the shadowy crevices, the Alps, we ain't. That's why our Lord means so much to us. He is intimately acquainted with all our ways. Darkness and light are alike to him. Not one of us is hidden from his sight. All things are open and laid bare before him. Our darkest secrets, our deepest shame, our stormiest past, our worst thought, our hidden motives, our vilest imagination. And even our vain attempts to cover the ugly with snow white beauty. He comes up so close. He sees it all. He knows our frame. He remembers we are but dust. But best of all, he loves us still. We light this fifth candle to represent the fact that all our darkness has been removed by the shining light of Christ. Lord Jesus, like this candle, vanquish all darkness in our lives. May we use the brightness of your light to see and to understand that you see us in our frailty. You feel our pain and you are always present even in the darkest of days. We honor Messiah with Christ's candle 
yellow flame Our Christmas Eve candles Glad tidings proclaim Oh, come all ye faithful Rejoice in this night As God comes among us The Christian's true light Jesus, I ask thee to stay close by me forever and love me, I pray. Bless all the dear children in thy tender care and fit us for heaven to be with you there. I invite all who profess Jesus as Lord and Savior and who seek to follow his way and live in unity with one another to come to this table with reverence and with faith. Eat and drink for your strengthening that you may grow in grace and be blessed, remembering that we, though many, are one body in Jesus Christ. Peace be with you, and, and also, also with, with you. you. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift, lift them up to, to the Lord. Lord God, we set before you this holy supper, following the command of Jesus, who on the night in which he was betrayed, took bread and blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body broken for you. And on the same night, in the same way, he took a cup and raised it and poured it out for his disciples to drink, saying, Drink this cup, all of you. This is the new covenant in my blood poured out for you. in union with each other and with our Lord Jesus Christ, who gave himself up for us and for the world. And in communion with the whole church, we offer ourselves to you. And now as Jesus has taught us, let us pray together. Our Father, our Father who art, who art in, heaven, in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. This is the body of Christ broken for you. This is the blood of Christ that was poured out for you. Let us pray. O God of all seasons and senses, grant us the sense of your timing to submit gracefully and rejoice quietly in the turn of the seasons. In this season of short days and long nights, of gray and white and cold, teach us the lessons of endings Children growing, 
friends leaving, loved ones dying, grieving over, grudges over, blaming over, excuses over. Oh God, grant us a sense of your timing in this season of short days and long nights of gray and white and cold. Teach us the lessons of beginnings that such waiting and endings may be the starting place, a planting of seeds which bring forth what is ready to be born, something right and just and different, a new song, a deeper relationship, a fuller love in the fullness of your time. Oh God, grant us the sense of your timing in this most holy of nights. And now may the God of grace heal you, body and soul. May your pain cease. May your strength, may your joy increase. May your fears and worries be released and may blessings and love and joy surround you now and always. Amen. Something God alone can see.